today the topic is da 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 fake fake gurus, gurus. 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 You see so many gurus on YouTube these days. People are saying they are super successful, but really? Are they really super successful? Well, let's find out. Here are 10 ways to spot a fake guru. All right, so this video, we're gonna talk about how you can avoid getting scammed. They're so good at deception. They make a living by lying to people. So how can we prevent that from happening to you? How can we prevent that from happening to our friends and our family? So let's talk about that. The exterior that they're trying to portray, right? Like supercars, they have nice clothes, nice watch, all these things, money, lifestyle, and so on, to get you to believe that they're successful. That's a great flag because if you look at people like Elon Musk, if you look at Jeff Bezos, no one knows what car they drive. If you want to find out, you can, but they don't go Probably on. a Tesla for Elon. Sorry? <laughs> probably yeah, a probably Tesla. a Tesla for Elon, but he probably has hundreds of cars that he doesn't talk about because that's not what he wants the focus to be on. A lot of these entrepreneurs, they use these things as a focus point, so it deviates your, your focus away from the real question. The real question is, what is it that you have actually done? Like, what's your business? What, what's your actual business? If you ask them, their name is not behind any businesses, right? They, they don't have a successful e-commerce store. They don't have a successful retail store. So what is it they do? What they do is they prey on people. They, they, they create this flashy exterior so that people get sucked into the dream and then pay them 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 2,000 bucks, and so $10, on and so forth. Dollars. Yeah, 10,000, right? Yeah. That's how they keep feeding that, that monster, that, that, that car, the, the lifestyle and everything. And as they feed more into it, more people get sucked in and, and it becomes a, a vicious cycle. It's almost like a cult. It is a cult. It is, it is like a cult. I mean, like, let's break it down, right? Like, how much does it really cost to have a extravagant lifestyle on the camera? Right? You can rent a penthouse yeah. for a day, for a, day. For a photo shoot for yeah. like under a thousand dollars, right? You can rent a Lamborghini for a couple hundred dollars for a day, and then you do the name registration and bam, you have it on LinkedIn. Yeah. It's so easy to just put up a front. If you don't do any research, you'll actually be bleeding. But if you do do research, like you said, mm -hmm. what have you actually accomplished? They can't really bring anything up. I assume that people are smart. I assume that people have some sort of intelligence. How are you able to make people give them money? People are getting in debt. People are borrowing from people just so that they can buy these people courses. What's the process that you're using so that we, people can be aware of what tactic they're using so that they can't get trapped into this? There's a certain amount of people that, that like you said, they're intelligent, but they still get sucked into it. I think it's the, the, the culture that we're in right now. A lot of people are just not ready for the workforce. Like they spent their entire life at school and then they got thrown to the workforce and then they realize that, hey, the four years I spent in university, college, whatever, this is not what I want to do. I don't want a nine to five job. And this is when those, the, the predators, the gurus, plant a seed saying that you can be your own boss. You can be successful. You can quit your job, like nine to five sucks. Right? Like you can work in Thailand, in Bali, wherever with a computer and can you make a million dollars a year. That's very attractive to someone who wakes up every morning hating their job. $2,000, $3,000, even $5,000 is a cheap solution to that problem, to that hopelessness. Whereas people like us, we know we've, we've been through a lot of things, we've been through a lot of hardship. We know the world kind of sucks, it's not fair and you just have to work your way through it, right? Like it's, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of hard work. And they want it now and they want it cheap and they want it done for you without any effort. Right. So it doesn't exist. There's so many people so hyped up about a certain guru that you look around at the, those meetings or you see a photo of them in a big meeting and you think, wow, he must be real because everybody people think that he's real. Well, don't fall into that trap of social pressure, okay? Find out for yourself, do your own research. The same way you're going shopping on Amazon, any website. Read the bad and the good reviews, right? Fake gurus kind of make it into, a, when he brings you up, he adds a, a sort of a dependency on him, right? Without him, you, f you fail. Okay. Whereas the good gurus, they're, they're, the good mentors and everything, they want you to succeed by yourself. They give you the guideline to be successful, and then off you go and you do your own thing and be successful in your own terms. There are good entrepreneurs that you should be following and that you should be learning from. Uh, Vaynerchuk's a good one, in my opinion. What's another good one? Cardone. Cardone, yeah. Cardone is, Cardone's not bad. He, he, he actually has a real sales background and he built sales team. 
Right. Yeah. And he does, you know, real life sales calls where right. he fails miserably. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. On he, to he tells you how to go at it. Right, right. So, so there are good entrepreneurs out there that you can learn from. And that's one of the reasons I started this challenge because I knew that there were people out there that needed actual real entrepreneur um, advice and education because that's what's missing is the real education that actually works from real entrepreneurs that make money from real businesses, not just make money from selling courses that teach people how to make money, okay? That, that's not really a real business. Think about it. So I wanna hear from you. Let me know what else you think fake gurus do. How else do you think that they sucker people in? So thanks for watching. Use the chi and prosper. Hi, do you love qigong? Do you love internal arts and meditation? If you do, make sure you click these videos here right now to get more amazing content from me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe button here. And if you want to know what your chi energy level is, make sure you take the quiz. It's the first link in the description.